In this video, we will cover a sample exam problem for the Power PE exam. This exam problem falls under the topic of rotating machines, which accounts for nearly 10 out of 80 problems on the PE exam. The question reads, A synchronous motor has a reactance of 0.1 per unit and a resistance of 0.5 per unit. The terminal voltage is 1 per unit and the current is 1.1 per unit at 1800 RPM. The load power factor is 0.75 lagging. What is the internal voltage of the motor? Assume all values are per phase, and we're given the possible solutions below. So in order to solve this problem, I recommend that you have this figure to help you solve any sort of motor equivalent circuit type questions. Um, this figure gives you the voltage, also gives you the voltage loss equation, which is typically used to solve these types of problems. Voltage drop occurs in the direction of the power flow, which is from right to left in the figure. And the terminal, this means that the terminal voltage will most likely be higher than the internal voltage of the motor, since power flows from right to left and voltage is lost due to the impedances in the motor. So this equation shows that the internal voltage of the motor is equal to the terminal voltage minus the armature current multiplied by the reactance losses of the motor and the armature current multiplied by the resistance of the motor. So another way to look at this equation is through the phasor diagrams. Here we start from step one where we assign the terminal voltage as having a zero degree reference point and we're just using one per unit, although in the problems the actual per unit values may differ. And also in step one, we find out that our armature current lags the voltage phasor by the power factor angle. So this is the same in our problem where we have a lagging power factor of 0.75. In step two, there will be a voltage subtraction from the terminal voltage equal to the voltage drop through the resistive losses. So remember that the current in the equivalent circuit moves from right to left, it starts from the terminal and works its way to the motor. Voltage is being subtracted as you move from the terminal back to the motor. Since RA is a pure resistive, loss, its angle is zero degrees. Thus, when the armature current is multiplied by the resistance, an angle of zero degrees is added to the armature current. In step three, the voltage loss from the inductive losses is subtracted from the terminal voltage phasor. This purely inductive losses of XA has an angle of 90 degrees. Thus, when it's multiplied by the armature current, 90 degrees is added to the angle. The resulting vector from the zero, zero point to the final result, resulting location will be your phasor of your internal voltage, or EA. So back to the problem. As, as you could remember from the previous slide, the difficulty in using the previous equations is not knowing what your angles are and uh, making sure that you use the correct angles for current and voltage. So typically you should assume that the voltage angle is zero degrees. Thus in this problem the current will lag by 0.75 power factor which will result in a negative angle for the armature current. So the angle is shown below as 41.4 degrees. Next you substitute the values from the, the problem into the equation. So the terminal voltage is given as one per unit and we assign an angle of zero degrees. The current is given as 1.1 per unit and since the current lags the voltage we assign a negative 41.4 degrees. The motor reactance value is given as 0.1 per unit and we assign an angle of 90 degrees since reactance is purely imaginary. The current value was described previously and the resistance is get, was given as 0.5 per unit with an angle of zero degrees since the resistance Resistance is purely real. 
So when you multiply everything out, you get this. But in order to simplify, you must first convert. So you convert the previous equation to rectangular, and you get this resulting. And once it's down here, you have to convert it back to polar so you can get the phasor magnitude, which will result in the correct answer being B, 0 0.68 per unit. Thank you.